what is up everyone and welcome back to my channel today guys we are back with another spider-man no way home hot toys figure unboxing and review video and today guys we are going to be doing a very very special unboxing video today we are doing toby mcguire spider-man also known as friendly neighborhood spider-man from the movie um I grew up with the Raimi Spider-Man movies. I am in my mid-20s. And to me, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man is my favorite character of all time from any movie, TV show, franchise, whatever you guys want to call it. This guy, uh, again, he's my favorite. I just have a emotional connection with the character with the movie so to me this is a very special unboxing video hopefully the quality of this video is as great as my excitement for the unboxing now i do want to clarify this is only the standard edition obviously the deluxe came with the sandman base uh and I do want to clarify eventually i would get i will get the deluxe version uh but i have a custom figure uh, in works that will be delivered to me in a couple of weeks maybe months that figure will have the sandman base so i will officially have two toby mcguire spider-mans so again for now we're only going to do the standard uh, standard edition right from the movie and then eventually we will get the the custom figure with the sandman base so very excited about that so with that being said guys let's go ahead and get started with the unboxing starting off with the design of the box guys so pretty much it is going to be the same design as previous characters from the movie so we do get toby in the main cover along with dr strange circle of magic behind him we do get a mechanical arm of doc ock along with a couple of pumpkin bombs we get the scratchy background at the bottom which is pretty much in the colors of the character along with the name of the movie and character in the middle on the right side we want to get get the name of the movie in the middle we get that red background again along with a part of uh, Doctor Strange Circle of Magic, Doc Ock's mechanical arms, and some electro lining at the bottom. So pretty much it is the same as other figures. In the back, we once again get the red and blue background to represent the figure, some electro lining, and pretty much the warning and legal information by Hot Toys. We do also get a small image of the movie. So I'm going to go ahead and get the box a little bit closer so that you guys can see. So we pretty much get the three Spider-Mans right there in that blue background. If you guys can see where basically that was at the movie when they got together. On the left side, we once again get that red and blue background along with some images of Toby from the movie. Uh, although I think the one at the top is pretty much the one shown by Hot Toys. The one at the bottom is where Tom Holland's Spidey is trying to kill Green Goblin and Toby stops him. So pretty much off to a great start with this uh, first box. Now we get to the second box. So again, same design as the other one. So we get a clear image of Toby in the main cover of that second box. And we are going to get that same black background uh, that we've gotten with previous figures. And we do get that purple type of uh, background, which represents uh, Doctor Strange spell being broken. Uh, the only sad thing about this is that we don't have those characters that were shown throughout the movie during that spell. Uh, we saw, I think, Rhino, if I'm not mistaken, and all, uh, along with other characters. We really don't get that we just get a couple of lights and uh, that purple background uh, along with the name of the figure and movie so pretty much that would be it for the second uh, box and now we get to the figure itself so uh, as you guys can see we get all of the of the accessories pretty sad that i am not doing the deluxe version yet but again i say yet because we will eventually get the deluxe version with the sandman base but either way my excitement with this figure is at its peak and right now grabbing him for the first time i am so pleased so far i am very very excited to finally get this guy in my hands um after a great start uh we will obviously review him in more detail a little bit later on but i definitely can tell this is toby mcguire spider-man uh he looks good to me so far again we will touch more on him in detail a little bit later on but i would say we're off to a really good start very very happy to finally get that excitement out of the way of unboxing him so again as i mentioned before we're going to go ahead and uh review it's his accessories one by one we'll go ahead and review the figure more in detail do a side-by-side -side comparisons and then we'll do some posing at the end okay guys so with the accessories so obviously we're 
were missing two things so the deluxe the deluxe uh, exclusive edition came with the sandman base and also doc ox mechanical arm obviously we have the standard edition here so we get this hexagonal base uh it's pretty much the same style as uh andrew garfield's uh base so we get pretty much this red and black kind of scratchy background along with the spider logo in the middle the name of the movie at the bottom and then the name of the character uh right there with the regular hot toys font uh, no issues with it whatsoever it does also come with this flight pole that goes on to the waist of the character i really don't have issues with the base because obviously this is for the standard edition obviously this figure is meant to be posed with that big sandman diorama base so i really don't have issues with that now what i do have an issue is with the spider web uh, effects um they're the same as previous figures i've mentioned before to me the coloring of the webs it's not bad it is as it is for the character in the movies but to me they really don't show any type of motion they're just straight lines and to me i've always had an issue with that um i hope that at some point hot toys goes with the same spider web effects that they did for the spider-man 2 video game characters like you know uh, the advanced suit and miles morales i thought that the spider web effects were phenomenal i love the effects the motions hopefully they do that at some point with these um with these characters because again they're the same designs they're the same effects as the other figures so there's not really too much creativity that we have with these uh characters as far as posing again the coloring the way that they look it's great but my only issue is the motion now just like the other characters we also do get a mask uh, this one is not meant to be attached to the uh, face sculpt uh, this one is just for peter to pretty much grab with his hand um, it does look exactly as the one as his head sculpt that he has onto the figure so the spider web you know the spider webbing looks great the way that the mask looks is good now we get to the face sculpt now i have heard a lot of different opinions about the face sculpt for toby to me honestly guys this is a phenomenal head sculpt honestly i understand that we probably want the figure to look as he was in the early raimi movies but again we're not going based on his appearance there we're going based on his appearance here at the spider-man no way home movie obviously the character is older i did feel that he had this type of shading beard uh and the hair piece it matches to me honestly the face sculpt is as good as they could have gotten him and to me this is the base face sculpt out of the other two or three spider-mans um so honestly for me i really like the face sculpt a lot um we get to this pretty much this cure for sandman that he does come with obviously he used it throughout the movie i'm glad that he does come with this just like with andrew garfield he comes with the blue type of bottle that is the cure for um for um for the lizard right uh we get this one for sandman right so obviously no issues I, I like the fact that it comes with it it looks pretty normal right no issues there and then obviously we get a lot of pairs of hands if i'm not mistaken we get 12 different hands uh we start with these two where pretty much he is pointing the fingers now i love the fact that he comes with these because obviously this is to for us to be able to go ahead and uh display the figures and that famous infamous image that tom holland posted where all three spider-man at point are pointing at each other recreating that meme so i'm gl i'm glad to know that all three figures come with these uh, pairs of hands obviously we get the regular spider web uh, effect hands um where pretty much he is able to shoot his spider web so that's pretty much an obvious one for peter we get these other two where pretty much he has his hands open kind of showing different motions and again as i always say it just gives us a lot of options to go ahead and post the figure my only issue with the hands is not necessarily the spider web effect to me the spider web lines look good i really don't have issue with that it's pretty much the way that they're made so obviously the fabric is not the same as the actual suit so once we install the hands onto the figure it does look a little bit weird right and you guys will be able to go ahead and check that a little bit later on on uh, when i um pretty much go over the figure in detail uh, here comes out uh, two other hands uh, they're also open but they don't show that much motion so again just gives us other options to go ahead and pose the figure and then these next two so the hand on the left is pretty much going to be him 
um, grab it onto something so he could he could either grab onto his mask without the head sculpt or to that cure of uh, sandman right now this hand right here on the right that's where we're able to go ahead and install the spider web lines uh, sadly he only comes with one so pretty much the spider web lines we're only going to be able to attach it to one side and not both uh, as i mentioned before the spider web lines look good onto these hands again it's only the fact that the, that the fabric isn't the same as the actual suit so it doesn't really match well and then the last two hands are the ones that come installed onto the figure which is pretty much uh close fist so no issues with the accessories uh pretty much only the hands but other than that um pretty normal stuff just like with the other uh, figures so we get to the figure now itself so i have heard a lot of different opinions about this figure a lot of bad ones a lot of good ones uh to me my opinion on him and this is going to be a very controversial one but to me the figure looks really good honestly now again the reason i say that is because he matches very well with the, his appearance in the movie now i did not like his look in the movie right but again hot toys is supposed to make the figure based on his appearance in the movie so we get to the face scope obviously the shape doesn't really match we look at that middle part where the, all the spider web, spider web lines connect that is a little bit high to me obviously the lenses are colored black but again that's the way they are in the movie so blame the creators of the movie not necessarily hot toys hot toys is basing the look on how he is now we do get the line where pretty much the mask is kind of suit up and that's probably my only complaint that it's too visible so obviously that kind of messes up the figure a little bit now what the way that the figure that the face connects onto the body so the seam line to me is a little too noticeable now obviously the figure does look a little bit more natural this way and obviously once we connect toby's face sculpt onto the figure it's going to look a little bit better obviously but again to me the seam line is a little bit too noticeable and it just looks off now the body itself again the body is supposed to be muscular a little bit more muscular but to me that's if we're basing it on his looks in the early movies uh you know the early 2000 movies but obviously the character is a little bit older so i think he's pretty much lost some muscle mass in the movie so obviously in this no way home movie he didn't look as muscular as he was in the early movie so to me once again the body isn't that bad honestly the spider web you know effects and the lines to me they're great the way that the suit is made it's pretty good as well no issues with it whatsoever as far as articulations i do like how the feet move and i like the fact that there's no seam, line, seam lines with his boots um to me the feet move very very well so no issues with it whatsoever now again as i mentioned before this was my complaint here so as you guys can see the way the hands connect onto the arms obviously we get the seam line which is pretty much a usual thing with all spider-man figures but again it's the fabric and the way that they're made obviously it does not match and the figure does look a little bit weird so that would probably be a complaint in mind and also another complaint of mine is on obvious honestly it's the articulation of the of the figure so i'm not sure if it's because of the suit as you guys can see there it could get damaged if we move this figure a little bit too much but to me the figure doesn't move as easily as a spider-man figure should um again with the suit itself i think that we're in danger of damaging this guy so to me i would recommend posing him only for images and then once you're done get this guy as straight as he possibly can be so that way the suit doesn't fold or get damaged in any way but other than that the look of the suit does match very well i do like it i think that the face sculpt and the hel and the helmet or uh, initial head scope are good no issues whatsoever right just a detail here and there i do think that he matches his look uh, in the movie for sure and now we have Toby's head sculpt connected onto the body. So now to me personally, this is his best look because to me, Toby's face sculpt is really, really good. Um, and to me, the issue that I have with the face sculpt with the mask on is the shape of the face. So to me, the shape of the face isn't accurate. And to be honestly, I haven't seen a company be or a video game or anyone be able to kind of recreate that same shape of the face with the mask on. Right. Uh, so to me, I think that the best look for this figure specifically is with the Toby face sculpt on. To me, it looks very natural. It looks really, really good. Love this look. He looks so legendary and that's the way that he was for most of the movie right so it kind of matches the movie as well 
okay so now a couple of side by side comparisons guys so for this specific figure we're gonna have a little bit more side by side comparisons that i've ever had for any previous videos so first we start with his main uh, counterpart uh, his main villain main enemy and that is the green goblin from the first movie so um for me, Spider-Man 1 is my favorite movie of all time. It's not the best Spider-Man movie. To me, that's Spider-Man 2 with Doc Ogg. But this is my favorite movie with Green Goblin. First and foremost, how in the hell did we not get these guys to have any type of interaction during No Way Home? Not even one single sentence or, or anything between these two guys. To me, that was uh, a horrible job by the directors of No Way Home. To me, these two guys have a very, very special connection. And the fact that they didn't even have them uh you know have any type of uh discussion or any type of fighting scenes it's just a huge disappointment but this would be the first uh side by side comparison since this is the first movie uh that toby Maguire was uh was in we get to the second comparison now we have the second spider-man movie so this is with doc ogg so to me uh of, of out of all the no way home figures to me doc ogg was was the worst because of that hideous head sculpt and i do have a a custom head sculpt for Doc Ock in on in its work so I cannot wait to pop that into the figure so that we can go ahead and get rid of this horrendous head sculpt that we got for Doc Ock so this is the second movie this to me is the best movie ever created by any Spider-Man director I just think that the way that the movie was from beginning to end it, it was phenomenal love the movie so this would be my second comparison uh, since it's the second movie by Toby the third comparison is now by Spider-Man 3. So now we get my Venom from Thunder, Thunder Toys. So looking at these two characters together, the height between these two characters does match the movie. Obviously, Venom is a little bit taller, but not as tall as he should be in any movie. But as far as the movie itself, by Spider-Man 3, to me, it does match the height of each character. Now, looking at them together, it does kind of you know let me know how thin venom really is he should be much more muscular and that's something that kind of thunder toys didn't really get right but this would be the third side by side comparison again because it's the third movie represented uh representing toby mcguire's and now the final side by side comparison so this time we're gonna do two figures with toby and we are doing his best buddies or best friends we're doing andrew garfield and uh tom holland spider-man first and foremost Foremost, it was an honor and a pleasure watching these three guys together uh, I still remember the excitement and thrill that I had when I watched this movie for the first time in theaters and obviously so excited that hot toys was able to create the whole spider-man no way home collection line we finally get these three guys united and so happy to have them all um no question my favorite is toby right but i obviously i respect everybody you know who has a different opinion of mine to me all three are great spider-man to me all three have represented the character in very specific special and unique ways um now the question would be whose figure is the best as far as the creation of hot toys and to me personally honestly the best figure is andrew garfield's as far as like the look of the suit it does match uh more the figure uh in the movie but me personally i'm gonna go with toby mcguire's to me the suit is the best that i've ever seen out of any spider-man figure um obviously the toby head sculpt is better than andrew garfield's head sculpt because andrew garfield's head sculpt is based on his appearance and spider-man uh the amazing spider-man 2 and not necessarily no way home right and then the integrated suit it's fantastic as well but the fact that the tom holland head sculpt doesn't really kind of represent him in the movie that is an issue of mine but either way all three figures are phenomenal so finally to have to finally uh, have them and then we get this iconic pose so i tried my best guys i do want to apologize from the start i know this isn't the greatest way to pose them but obviously this is the iconic image that tom holland posted on his instagram page where all three of these guys are united together recreating that meme first and foremost again what a thrill watching those images is like you can't even believe it that these three guys were united at some point in a movie who knows hopefully we get to get these guys together uh, at some point in the future we'll see what marvel has in store for us but again i tried my best recreating the image right i went ahead and posted them together pointing at each other recreating that meme and just pretty much going based going back to the comparisons of each figure so now we have all three figures without their masks we get their head sculpts and no question based on the movie itself 
Toby's was the best uh, head sculpt. I think look at it, especially from the side view, you can tell it looks exactly as Toby from the movie. So to me, his figure is the best one uh, because of the head sculpt. I, again, I feel like it's a controversial opinion because I have heard a lot of different opinions about this figure. But to me, the face sculpt is as good as they could have gotten him based on his appearance in the movie. Okay, so now we have reached the end of the video where pretty much we are going to do a couple of poses with Toby Spider-Man. Now, because this is a special figure for me, a special unboxing, I'm going to do a couple of more poses than I usually do. And I promise you guys, I tried my best. So I do want to apologize if these poses aren't greatest to me. Uh, I do want to clarify that have some limitations because of the figure. As I mentioned before, the articulations aren't the greatest with this specific Spider-Man. And I think it has to do with the suit and the way that it's fabricated obviously i don't want to damage it in any way so i rather do some okay poses instead of trying to go out and break something or damage the figure for the long term uh, at the end of the day as i mentioned before with these specific figures you want to try to pose them yes for images and things like that but once you're done posing them try to set this guy and the other figures as straight as possible so that way they last longer and they're not damaged in the long term but either way still very very satisfied with the figure love the accessories love the suit again in love with the character because he's just my favorite my only issues as i mentioned before is the shape of the face scope with the mask on uh, as i mentioned um previously to me i have i have never seen anybody be able to duplicate the same shape of the mask on with, you know with the mask on either in video games like for example the spider-man 2 video game obviously raimi's suit is there uh this movie in specific the no way home movie and along with other video games and things like that i still have yet to see anybody be able to recreate that shape of the mask i feel like his jawline is just this type of weird squared but circ you know round type of shape and to me it is so iconic his look in the raimi trilogy that i have never seen anybody anybody be able to duplicate his shape of his mask on but again Either way, as I mentioned, the face sculpt itself, it is perfect to me. It is as good as they have created as they have as they could have created, excuse me, in the movie. Again, he is a little bit older, so he is going to look this way. So again, no issues with the face sculpt. And to me, the body is fine. Again, because he is a little bit older, he is a little bit skinnier in the movie. So no issues with that whatsoever. Again, I'm just so glad that I finally have this guy along with the other figures. Now, this is the 11th figure of 12 for the whole no way home collection line we are just missing tom tom holland's red and blue suit from the ending scene uh, once we do get that figure we are going to review the whole collection line in detail give our overall thoughts whether hot toys failed or passed the test of these of this collection line so stay tuned in for that um this is going to be the end of the video i uh, want to thank you all, all of y'all for tuning in today and for supporting the channel you guys are the best this was as an exciting of a unboxing as i have ever done and hopefully i was able to, de to deliver it. uh hopefully the quality of the video matches my excitement for the unboxing but this is going to be the end of the video again as i mentioned before thank you so so much for the support and for always tuning in to my videos if it is the first time as i always mentioned welcome to my channel feel free to like this video subscribe to my channel and also hit the notifications bell so that way you stay tuned in for unboxings like this one and others that i will have on the way i also do have instagram and tiktok the links to that are on the description of the video feel free to hit the link so that way you can follow me and stay updated with anything that i will be dropping on my future uh video so with that being said guys this is going to be it for toby mcguire spider-man unboxing and review video thank you once again for tuning in and i will see you next time